Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jessica, and I'm here to present the company uh, called Hey Planet. Uh, our vision is to create a more sustainable, sustainable and globally responsible uh, food culture by developing nutritious and delicious foods based on edible insects. And that was the first slide. And before you think we're crazy talking about insects, um, I just want you to remind you what we think, at least, is way more crazy. And that is our very high consumption of meat, uh, which is so high that it's actually driving climate change and loss of biodiversity. To produce all the meat that we're consuming actually takes up more than 80% of the entire globe's agricultural land. This is used to make feed for animals that we eat. We think that's much more crazy than the idea of eating insects. And as the global population is growing, the need for producing and consuming protein um, that is sustainable presents a huge challenge because it's a growing uh, and increasing problem. So we need alternative proteins and we need them very fast. Um, so how did we come to think about insect? Well, actually 10 years ago, my partner Melina was living in Tanzania and her local host family served her grasshoppers. As a vegetarian, she wasn't too sure whether this was a good idea, but she decided to integrate into the local culture and had the fried grasshoppers for almost a whole year. And she actually felt much better. She was less anemic, less tired. She didn't like iron or vitamin B12 anymore. She found out that it was the insect that helped her and she studied insects entomophagy at university for six years. To make it brief, she found out there's three main reasons why we should be eating more insects. Firstly, in terms of nutrition, nothing beats insects. They have a very high quality of protein like beef. They have very high fiber and, and good fatty, a fatty acids, omega-3 and 6. And they're also full of uh, calcium, um, vitamin B12 and iron. Um, compared to eating beef or chicken or pork, you save huge amounts of water, land, and feed, actually 12 times the amount of feed to produce one kilo of beef compared to insects. And you save almost 15,000 liters of water. Um, and also very importantly, that means a huge CO2 reduction. The third and most important reason is that insects taste delicious, but we do, uh, notice that eating them like this is difficult for us Westerners, even, two bi even though two billion people in the world actually eat insects on a daily basis. And that was what I was thinking um, some years ago when Melena presented me to the idea. I thought it sounded great, but the idea of eating it just wasn't so appealing. Even though I had made other startups in helping women in prison, I'm usually not so afraid of a new challenge, but eating insects was a bit too much. Um, so I understand that people think it's still a bit crazy, but I decided to taste them and crazily enough, I actually thought it tasted really great. And that's why I started looking into the market and the potential and how this could really help uh, solve some of the sustainable development goals. And the way that we do it then today is by making insects into powder. So we've started by different snacks, our protein bars, our crisp bread. And our most exciting product is uh, Mena Minced, which is the next Impossible Foods. It's just based on insects instead of soy protein. And to eat one Mena Minced burger will save the environment 4,000 liters, 4, liters of water and a lot of CO2, antibiotics and pesticides compared to eating beef. But it has a meaty texture and a nice umami taste, just like meat. Today we sell in selected uh, retailers in Denmark and we're also exporting to Germany and Japan. Um, and our mission is really to take over the entire EU when the regulation is better. And uh, with time also the United States uh, and, and uh, abroad. Um, and you may not think that changing what you eat has a big effect, but if you actually want to reduce your CO2 footprint, changing what you eat is one of the most effective ways of doing that. 
that's all uh, from me for now. Thank you very much.